Hello, thank you for watching today. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to install an ice maker valve behind a fridge. Um, it's relatively easy. The one I purchased was a, or is a, um, kind of a quick connect, a shark bite, um, that all you do is push on to the copper pipe. Uh, there is a half inch copper pipe already in, existing in the wall and um, it looks like it's been leaking for a little while and I'm replacing it because of the valve leakage. Okay, so here's the valve. It's probably about 20, 25 years old and it looks like the copper pipe has a little bit of evidence for previous leakage because there's a little bit of rust on it or oxidization of the copper pipe with that green stuff. Uh, don't forget to uh, have a towel so you can catch any water that may come from the valve when you're working on it. So I'm loosening up the existing ice maker water line and removing it so we can change out the valve. And this one's funny because uh, the valve on top is leaking and instead of replacing just the little valve insert, we're replacing the whole box. So with these boxes, they're installed prior to drywall. And so they have little um, flaps that are drilled or nailed into the studs. So I loosen that up with uh, just hitting with a hammer and a pry bar. And now I'm uh, loosening up the, or I'm cutting the pipe with a pipe cutter that there's a knob on it and a wheel and you tighten up the knob here. So you tighten up the knob and after you tighten the knob just 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 a little bit and then you swing it around the pipe and you tighten up the the knob swing it around the pipe and then you tighten up the knob swing it around the pipe and eventually the pipe um, cuts and it's nice clean cut instead of using a sawzall or some other hacksaw or some other way of cutting it this has a nice clean cut and then the actual um, area where you cut is nice and clean you don't have to do too much to prep that area this box was pretty tight in there so I had to do some finessing to get it out and then I'm taking some sandpaper and then I cleaned up the pipe so it could be installed and then so the new ice maker box need I need to be able to uh, cut out the drywall so I can install the ice maker box onto the studs. And so I'm going to be doing that here shortly. You can see the ice maker box on the bottom has a shark bite connection where all you do is push the shark bite connection onto the half inch copper pipe. And I was going to cut kind of the nubs out of but of the drywall but I decided not to I just decided to do a chunk because it would be way easier I just cut enough so I can install the ice maker and then I pulled any nails from the other um, box and this one nail on this side was, was huge. I like used a framing nail to install this, and which was way overkill. And then now the, bo the box will be able to be slid, slid into position and locked onto the pipe. And it, it was very, it was very close to the original location where the other box was. A little further down because we cut off some of the pipe. And then now I need to uh, figure out how I'm going to install um, the drywall. Oh, and don't forget to check any leaks. Turn the water back on. Check for any leaks that you may have. Um, if you do, fix them and then um, go from there. And so I'm kind of doing a hodgepodge kind of fix it thing. I think for me it was just to get some drywall into the wall so I can patch it up. Um, these little pieces are not going to affect the integrity after the drywall mud has been hardened. And this piece of stick, um, I just put it up there so we can screw a new piece of drywall on the top side of this. 
valve and then there's a drywall mud just remember to make sure it's uh, when you put it on to make sure it's nice and smooth and even um, I'm a big believer about not putting very many not sanding very much at the end and then um, I'm using some kind of fiber mesh tape to put in there and it's, it's, for me it's I like it because I don't have to worry as much about any bubbling All right, there you go. There's the uh, ice maker. Um, I did also include the drywall patch and repair. I did uh, do one more coat after that, and then they have a knockdown uh, texture, which um, I could show you later on how to do that. Um, thanks so much for joining me today, and hopefully uh, that gives you some insight on how to replace your um, valve for your ice maker for your fridge. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me today. Also, uh, don't forget to uh, like and comment below and then subscribe to my channel. For